Hey folks, today I'm going to try something. I think I always start this when I'm trying something different. I always say I'm going to try something interesting today. Well, this is very interesting. Recently, I found this at HEB. It's Fireball Sweet Heat Chili Seasoning Mix. Yeah, Fireball Chili. I, uh... Brought this up at, with the guys at work, and uh, we're we're big fans of Fireball, and uh, I got some thumbs up and thumbs down, so I thought I would try it. It says whiskey flavored seasoning inspired by the flavors of Fireball. It's pretty simple instructions, but I want to read the ingredients here: sugar, salt, dried chili powder, cornstarch spices, dried garlic, honey powder, paprika, cinnamon, dried onion, rice hulls, natural flavors, cumin, extractives of paprika for color, and whiskey. Uh, it must be dried whiskey powder, I, I guess. If you're not familiar with Fireball, it's a cinnamon flavored whiskey and uh, it's very popular. Now, I'm going to make this and then give it a try. Here's how I'm going to put it together based on the instructions on the back of the packet. And then we'll uh, give it a taste. So stay tuned. Okay, start by browning a pound of ground beef. And you just want to break it up really good. And then... Uh, Continue until it's completely browned. And here I've drained it, the excess fat. So now I'm going to add about a 15 ounce can of uh, diced tomatoes. And an 8 ounce can of tomato sauce. This is not how I make my usual chili, but this is going by the directions on the, on the packet. They say you can add uh, kidney beans if you want. So let's add the packet of the chili seasoning mix. It smells very cinnamony. We'll see. And then uh, let's turn this on. Now we want to bring this up to a boil. Get it combined. Normally I just use tomato juice for my uh, chili. But I could see, you know, adding the diced tomatoes is, is a good idea. So I'm just going to simmer this for about 20 minutes. Oh, brought, brought it up to a boil. I'm sorry. Okay, that looks good. And then I'm going to put a top on it and then simmer it for about 20 minutes. They suggest 15. Frankly, I would let it go longer, but, you know, I'm going by their directions. So just simmer for about 20 minutes. Okay. Really smell that cinnamon now. <laughs> yeah, it's really coming through. It's it's not bad. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it, I I like cinnamon, and cinnamon and chili is a good idea. Okay, let's let's put some in a bowl and give it a taste test and uh, see how it is. It might be good. Okay, let's give it a taste. Pretty straightforward. I uh, opted to just go with just the straight up chili. You could add some uh, beans if you wanted to. They they, they did say you, you could add kidney beans. Um, some people don't like it, so I left it out. You could add cheese if you wanted. I just decided to go with the straight up chili uh, just to give it a flight, you know, get, to get the flavors, get, give it a taste, so. I certainly smell a lot of cinnamon. It's very cinnamon. And it's not uncommon to put cinnamon in uh, in a chili recipe. A lot of your uh, Cincinnati-style Cincinnati chilies have cinnamon in them, um, as well as some of the, the, the hot dog chili sauces. So let's give it a taste. You know, 
a bite of that. I gotta admit, that's not bad. That's pretty darn good. It's got a nice spice level, and it's not too sweet. I was I was afraid it would be really sweet, but it's 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 pretty darn good. I I definitely taste cinnamon. It's it's pretty heavy on the cinnamon. Um, not really tasting whiskey, and that's another thing. It's not uncommon to to put whiskey in chili as well, or beer. Uh, I've seen many recipes that call for beer, but. You know, from time to time, you can throw in a, a tad bit of whiskey. The alcohol will burn off anyway. But, well, Fireball Sweet Heat Chili Seasoning Mix. I I probably won't make this on a regular basis, but, you know, I'm glad I gave it a try. It's 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 pretty good. Um, I'm sure other people might like it. I think it would be good for a, a on a ch on a chili dog, you know, for a hot dog sauce. Um, I might have to try that with some of this, but I'm gonna take the take this into work and uh, see what the others think. So there you have it, folks. Fireball sweet heat chili mix. Give it a try if you uh, like Fireball. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.